On the heels of more positive news about a potential coronavirus vaccine, the nation's top infectious disease expert thinks millions could be vaccinated by the end of the year. Dr. Anthony Fauci told Stat News there could be enough doses for 20 million people by the end of 2020. His comments come after promising early data from pharmaceutical companies Moderna and Pfizer. Moderna announced Monday its COVID-19 vaccine is more than 94 percent effective than a placebo as the drug maker reaches the late stages of trials. Couple that with news about Pfizer's trials last week, where their vaccine was shown to be 90 percent effective. We're now learning more about the possibility of widespread vaccine distribution next year. Dr. Uche Blackstock joins me now. She is Yahoo News medical contributor and emergency physician. She is also the founder of the group Advancing Health Equity, which works to eradicate bias and racism in healthcare. Doctor, thank you so much for being with us. How do you compare the new Moderna announcement with the one from Pfizer on their vaccine trial last week? So thank you for having me so much, Elaine. You know, I, I think that what we're seeing, these, this news is really the glimmer of hope that we need in this very difficult time where we're having the third surge uh, in cases across the country. Uh, the Moderna vaccine, you know, the level of uh, efficacy, uh, the, the, the um, ideally it was supposed to be about 50 percent, now 94 percent is really incredibly promising. It doesn't need to be refrigerated uh, like the Pfizer vaccine, which is incredibly important in thinking about distribution uh, to the states. And so now it looks like we have really two strong contenders uh, for a vaccine uh, that most likely they'll receive EUA uh, sometime in the next few weeks. And then we could even have a vaccine available uh, by the end of December that's available to healthcare workers. Which one looks more promising? What more do we still need to know from testing? Right, so such a great question. And so for both of them, we need at least two months of safety and efficacy data that the data monitoring safety boards will need to review to ensure uh, that, that these are safe and effective vaccines. Uh, right now, the reports that we receive from both companies are only preliminary data. They haven't been reviewed by peer-reviewed journals, which is incredibly important. So we'll need to see the complete data before we know how safe and effective both vaccines are. So both companies have asked for emergency approval. What does that mean for a potential timeline before a vaccine is available to healthcare workers and then the general public? Sure, so the EUA process takes about three to four weeks. And so the, the uh, board will be reviewing that those two months of, of safety data, efficacy data with a fine tooth comb. And it really is very unusual, except during this pandemic, for therapeutics and vaccines to receive an EUA. So this really would be unprecedented uh, for a vaccine to receive an EUA at this time, but it all happens very quickly. Uh, and we could even have one by the end of December if the EUA process is uneventful. You know, I'm curious, doctor, we know that this virus has hit people of color disproportionately when you look at the data that we have so far. And I wonder, based on what you have seen with respect to these uh, folks who are involved in these clinical trials, how satisfied are you that there is enough diversity within the group of people who are being tested? Because as we know, various uh, racial and ethnic groups have different kinds of conditions, potentially underlying conditions that they mm -hmm. may be more susceptible to and therefore may have a different reaction to a vaccine because of. Right. And so what we've seen actually is the Moderna data in terms of representation from diverse racial and ethnic groups is, was much better um, than with Pfizer. But I do know that a number of vaccine manufacturers have been making explicit intentional efforts to recruit a more diverse patient population. But as you just mentioned, it's incredibly important because we know that the communities that have been most disproportionately impacted by this virus have been Black, Latinx, and Indigenous populations throughout this country. So we need them well represented uh, in these trials as well. Well, before we reach the point of distribution, we're heading into the holiday season, of course. An Ohio State University Medical Center poll found 38 percent of respondents are planning to gather in groups of 10 or more for Thanksgiving. Doctor, how important will these next few months be to trying to contain the virus? 
So yes, that, that, that news is very concerning to me. And I, I understand where we all are in this pandemic. I know that we're tired. I know that it's very important for us to be around loved ones. But we also are at an unprecedented point in the pandemic where we're seeing uh, cases surge exponentially. And this is a critical time. And even these, uh, these gatherings of, you know, of, of family, 10, 15 people, it's, it's too much. I would advise Americans to try to keep your gatherings as small as possible, ideally to only immediate household contacts. And if you must uh, you know, socialize in large groups, make sure to take it outdoors, wear your mask, be in a very well ventilated area. Um, but you know, Thanksgiving could prove to be really a turning point um, in this pandemic for the better or for the worse, depending on individual behavior and whether people will follow these very important preventive measures, which we know work well. Yeah, it can be so easy for people to let down their guard, but it's such critical advice. Yeah. Dr. Uche Blackstock, doctor, thank you so much for being with us. Thank you for having me.